so very good evening all so today uh, we are going to discuss about the experiment called direct shear test so previously we had a discussion on uh, how to classify the soil how to find the permeability characteristics consolidation characteristics these things we had a detailed discussions so in this session we are going to access the shear strength parameter of a soil so why we need to by that only we are able to proceed in number of uh, uh, characteristics finding over a soil mechanics and foundation engineering so while talking about correlation of soil shear strength as an engineer we are supposed to find or arrive the bearing capacity of the soil so at the time to find the bearing capacity using a uh, ios code method or tesagi method so what are the method we are uh, using we need a shear strength parameter of a soil there are n number of conditions available particularly probably we have to consider total shear strength characteristics another is effective shear strength characteristics so fully based on the drainage conditions availability of water and how it get drained during the loading it plays a major role this direct shear test is purely applicable for arriving shear strength property for coarse grain soil so before that what is mean by coarse grain soil what is mean by coarse soil so we will have n number of confusions so how to exactly classify the exact the soil comes under which category first category is called cohesion less soil next is called cohesive soil third category is called purely cohesive soil so in what way we are differentiating these things means fully based on the two characteristics that is called shear strength parameter the suggested by uh, morkul equation c and pi c is nothing but cohesion so what is cohesion there is a two term we may study in uh, chemistry itself adhesion and cohesion the bond between the same material we can call it as cohesive force the bond between different material we can call it as adhesive force now while talking about soil mechanics we will consider cohesion and another is called another extreme is called friction angle of internal friction pi frictional characteristics how much the friction offered by a particle to particle that is categorized by a term called pi so how to differentiate the first one is called cohesion less soil it mean there is there will be no any cohesion between particle to particle no bond between particle to particle the best example for this cohesion less soil is sand if you take the sand you just pour the water and mix it properly you just uh, uh, put your hand inside the soil and you just take it out you just give a small shaking a few soil particles may be stick to your hands but that too if you just clean it it will it will leave off there is no cohesion that is called purely sorry cohesion less soil that is example is sand the second category uh, let us discuss third category extreme category purely cohesive soil you just take any clay pure clay bentonite or something any clay you just add some amount of water you just try to keep in your hand you try to rub over the surface you will never feel any friction that is called frictional characteristics of the soil so that to uh, i used to say this example you can consider a two case 
during rain before rain and after rain on a normal road path is made by clay a person can run with a higher speed because there will be some presence of friction over the surface we can face it but once the rain comes the water accumulate with the cohesive soil it reduces the friction there will be no friction if a person walk or run over that clay a saturated clay they will slip off so that character is called cohesionless in what type of soil this happens means saturated clay saturated the condition you have to keep in mind saturated clay that is called that type of soil have only cohesion the pi value is zero so in between we have another category is called cohesive soil such type of soil will have a cohesive property as well as frictional property this is a general classification general criteria why we have we are studying these things now here in this test what we are going to arrive that is the value of c and the pi we are supposed to arrive by this method uh, for what purpose means for finding shear strength of the soil tau if you found the value of tau it is very easy to calculate everything the shear strength that is called tau tau we are supposed to find by conducting the test on the soil this see here uh, this session i am going to explain about uh, the working mechanism of this test okay, this apparatus is called direct shear test apparatus here the two unknown i said c and pi for finding shear strength of the soil as per uh, mathematical relation to find two unknowns minimum we need two equations indirectly we can say with the help of because c value is zero based on only one test result also we are, we can come out with result but even though for our uh, uh, for betterment of exact result we can go for three trials or sometimes four trials for the better accurate results so this is the setup here it exactly this is the place we are going to conduct the test here this is the place we are going to place a soil sample so how we are going to access first we have to prepare a soil sample in a container and we have to place it inside we have to apply the vertical load after applying the known vertical load we have to apply the lateral load make the soil to fail by applying load laterally we are able to from here with the help of this uh, proving ring we are able to find how much horizontal load taken to get failed for the applied vertical load so we know the failure uh, applied normal load we know we know failure horizontal load so this is one case so like this we have to go for second trial what a second trial we have to change this weight we have to increase or decrease anything we can do we have to change the vertical load applied on the soil specimen then we have to repeat the procedure we have to arrive at horizontal load at failure so vertical load at failure horizontal load at failure now this load must be converted to, to the stress and we have to uh, mark in a graph sheet we are able to arrive that the relation between normal stress and failure uh, horizontal stress by this we are able to find the exact value of cohesion so these things let me explain in a next session thank you